Welcome to another Diacom information session. This session is brought to you by Rinda Technologies and covers features of the Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software. These sessions are designed to give you a better understanding of the operation of the Diacom software. Thank you for watching. This video covers the system selection for Mercury outboard engines supported by Diacom. Detailed instructions for connecting to any of these engines described in this video are located in Diacom's help system. To access these instructions, simply click Help in the program's main menu bar, then click on Diacom User Manual. From the Contents tab on the left, click on Getting Started, and then click on Connecting to a Mercury Outboard. Diacom System Selection Menu is designed to assist a marine technician in identifying the correct engine control system type prior to diagnosis. Choosing the correct system type is the single most important step a technician must make before diagnosing an engine. Choosing an incorrect system type will typically result in Diacom not being able to communicate with an engine. All system type choices shown in Diacom's menu are enhanced with photos of the actual engine control modules used for that system type, as well as pictures of the correct adapter to use for that system. Marine technicians can therefore match the photo of the engine control module shown in Diacom's menu with the actual module installed on the engine they wish to diagnose. Technicians can also use the photo of the diagnostic adapter shown in Diacom's system selection menu to assist in locating the mating diagnostic connector on the engine's wiring harness. Clicking on the picture enlarges it for better viewing. To select any system type, click on the desired system so that it turns green and then click OK. To access the Mercury Outboard Engine System Selection menu, click on Mercury Outboards and then click OK. The first system type choice in the list is SmartCraft ECM. This selection covers 2001 and newer Mercury outboards equipped with PCM 555, ECM 555, PCM 03, and PCM 07 engine control modules. These modules are compliant with Mercury's SmartCraft communication network and were introduced in the 2001 model year. Typical PCM and ECM modules are shown in the picture. These modules are used on a wide range of Mercury outboards including Verado, Optimax, and others. A two-pin diagnostic adapter, number 94028, is required to connect to the data link connector on early versions of this system. When adapter 94028 is used, the alligator clips must be connected red to battery positive and black to battery negative. A 4-pin diagnostic adapter, number 94006, is used to connect to the data link connector on all Verado engines, as well as a variety of other 2006 and newer Mercury outboard engines. The next system type choice is DFI two-stroke. The direct fuel injected two stroke engine control module was a predecessor to the SmartCraft ECM and was used from 1997 through 2000. The term DFI is sometimes used interchangeably with Optimax and refers to the same engine technology. DFI engine control modules used from 1997 through 2000 look identical to 2001 and later PCM 555 SmartCraft engine control modules. However, they are internally different and have different diagnostic capabilities. Diacom uses diagnostic adapter number 94028 to connect to these modules through the engine's data link connector. 
The alligator clips of adapter number 94028 must be connected red to battery positive and black to battery negative. The next system type choice is the 824003 fuel ECM. This engine control module was used from 1995 through 2001 on a wide range of mercury fuel injected two-stroke engines including engines produced by Mercury Racing. The module is relatively easy to identify and is shown in the photo below. This engine control module is often referred to in service literature by its 824003 Mercury part number. Diacom Diagnostic Adapter number 94028 is used to communicate with these modules through the engine's data link connector. The alligator clips of adapter number 94028 must be connected red to battery positive and black to battery negative. The next system type choice is 3.0 liter ignition ECM. This system is found on 225 and 3 liter V6 carbureted engines with electronic ignition. This module is a spark control module only and does not control fuel delivery on the engine. This system was produced by Denso Corporation and was used by Mercury during the 1994 through 2001 time period. Diagnostic adapter number 94011 is used to connect Diacom to this engine system type. The next system type choice is 3 liter fuel ECM. This system is found on 225 and 250 horsepower 3 liter V6 engines with electronic fuel injection built between 1995 and 2001. This system was produced by Denso Corporation and consists of two separate modules, one for ignition control and one for fuel control. Mercury engines equipped with this system have both a fuel ECM and ignition ECM, however there is only one data link connector for complete system diagnostics. Diacom 4-pin adapter number 94011 is used to connect to this system type. The next system type choice is the 2.5 liter high performance racing two stroke. These fuel injected engines were built between 1995 and 1998 by Mercury Racing and were equipped with a control module designed by Fuel Management Systems which is now part of Woodward Corporation. The control module in the picture has a unique feature. This feature is that the diagnostic connector is literally located inside the control module. The control module is equipped with a removable round plug visible in the photo, which provides access to the ECM's internal 5-pin diagnostic connector. Diacom adapter number 94013 is used to communicate with this control module. The next system type selection is 2 and 3 cylinder carbureted 4-stroke engines. These engines were manufactured between 1998 and 2005. This engine range consists of the 25, 30, 40, 50, and 60 horsepower four-stroke carbureted engines. The module is built by Motorola and is used to control ignition timing as well as provide fuel enrichment to the carburation system. This system type was used on many engines that were not equipped with a battery and were therefore manually started via a pull start mechanism. Since there is no battery available, the ECM is powered by the engine's internal stator coil. As the engine is started, the stator coil generates enough current to power up the ECM module. Note. Some engine models were equipped with electric starters, but the ECM is still powered by the engine's stator coil on these engines. The result of this type of system is that an engine that is not running requires external electrical power to power up the ECM module for diagnostic purposes. To connect Diacom to these engines, two adapters are required. 
engine diagnostic adapter number 94011, and inline power adapter number 94037. Connect power adapter number 94037 to the diacom cable, then connect diagnostic adapter number 94011 to the 94037 adapter. After these connections are made, connect diagnostic adapter number 94011 to the engine data link connector. The alligator clips of adapter 94037 must be connected red to battery positive and black to battery negative. The next system type choice is 75 and 90 horsepower EFI 4 stroke. These Mercury 4 stroke 75 and 90 horsepower electronic fuel injected engines are equipped with Yamaha power heads. Mercury began offering these engines in 2005. These engines are outfitted with a Mitsubishi electronic control module and have a 3 pin Yamaha style diagnostic connector available on the engine harness. Diacom adapter number 94038 is used to communicate with this system type. The next system type choice is 25 and 30 horsepower EFI 4 stroke. These Mercury branded 3 cylinder 4 stroke 25 and 30 horsepower electronic fuel injected engines are equipped with Tahatsu power heads. Mercury began offering these engines in 2006. The engine control module for these engines are built by Kokusan Denki of Japan. Some engines utilizing this system type were not equipped with a battery and were therefore manually started via a pull start mechanism. Since there is no battery available, the ECM is powered by the engine's internal stator coil. As the engine is started, the stator coil generates enough current to power up the ECM module. Note, some engine models are equipped with electric starters, but the ECM is still powered by the engine's stator coil on these engines. The result of this type of system is that an engine that is not running requires external electrical power to power up the ECM module for diagnostic purposes. The engine control module has two connectors and diacom adapter number 94039 must be plugged directly into the engine control module's smaller connector to obtain diagnostic data. This connector has a cover over it that must be removed to expose the 16 pin data connector. Once the diagnostic adapter is plugged in, the alligator clips of adapter 94039 must be connected red to positive and black to negative. The last system type choice in the list is the 115 horsepower EFI 4 stroke. These Mercury engines were built between 2001 and 2006 and were equipped with Yamaha power heads. These engines are outfitted with a Mitsubishi engine control module and have a 3-pin Yamaha style diagnostic connector available on the engine harness. Diacom adapter number 94038 is used to communicate with this system type. Thank you for watching this edition of Rinda Technologies Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software Training.